Successful business owner? A celebrity decorator? Do you guys think I got here overnight? The answer is no. I made a lot of mistakes when I was just starting off. There are a lot of things that I wish I would have known when I was just starting off. And let me share with you my top five. Number one is working with influencers. Working with influencers can be beneficial, but you need to remember about what benefits you and your business. At the end of the day, it is not providing your services for free. You do need to have a contract where the influencer is obligated to provide you a certain type of the content. If you're not going to have a contract in place, you might get a little bit frustrated. Okay, you can get very frustrated because influencers are not always thinking about you. They are thinking about what are they going to show in their content. So if you are not going to have that contract in place, they will do what's good for them without thinking about other vendors participated happened to me many times. Also remember that even if influencer has a lot of the followers, not necessarily these are your clients. Number two, work with cheap balloons. Guys, how many situations have you had where you went on Amazon and bought that Amazon kit? So if you haven't yet, go ahead and check out our YouTube video to see what can happen when you order the Amazon kit and not getting what is pictured. Also, I am guilty of trying to order balloons off of the Amazon or Etsy, paying the fair price, but getting Chinese balloons that were terrible quality and providing those balloons for a client were very embarrassing because they did not look good. They did not last because they were super thin and they had a lot of damages and a lot of imperfections on them. Also working with the balloons for the party supplies like Party City or Walmart or Dollar Store provide you with the same quality of the balloons. So I would rather invest a little bit more money and have less defective balloons and have my balloons to look good. So at the end of the day, you're not really spending a lot more money on a professional balloons just because you have a lot less defective balloons and you get a lot better quality in your display. So more customers will come back to you. Thing number three is let your customers dictate their pricing. It is really important to understand your pricing formula and why your pricing is what it is. A lot of times your customer will try to bargain and get a discount. And when you know your pricing inside out, you will know why you charge what you charge. You will be able to answer any questions. How many times I've had a client telling me that such and such will offer me the same work for less pricing? After I asked them a question, so why won't you go with this particular balloon artist? They told me, because you're great, because your job is amazing, because you've been referred by so many people, because you only have great reviews, and I love your work on social media. And I'm saying, here you go. This is why my pricing is what it is today because I'm using the best quality of the balloons, because my team is the best, and because we are very professional. So don't let customers to bully you with their pricing. Be confident in your value. Number four, concentrate on yourself. When you're starting off, this might be one of the hardest things to do because you see what other people are doing, what they're posting on their social media, or people they are working with, and you can get overwhelmed asking yourself a question, why don't I get hired for these jobs? Or where do I find a client like this for myself and my business? Don't look at this. Look at them for inspiration and motivation and work together. Collaborate with these people, learn from them and their expertise, and then you will grow together. I do not believe in competition. I believe in the power of collaboration and growing together. So the tip for you over here, do not spend too much time looking at other people's work, who they're working with or for, analyzing their work. Because looking at all of this work will make you very unmotivated and depressed. Instead, try to concentrate on your personal motivation and what inspires you to move forward. And the last thing that I wish I knew before I was getting started is finding a mentor. No matter what industry you're in, having a mentor who helps you and guides you throughout the whole process will help you to grow faster. You can find a mentor in different areas of your business. A mentor who will help you with taxes and accounting. A mentor who will help you with marketing. A mentor who will help you with the trends and motivations and inspirations. Find the one you need today to get you started and keep on going. Investing in yourself is the best investment you can do. At the end of the day, you will end up paying a lot more money for making a mistake instead of paying less money for having a mentor or attending a masterclass. 
And this is why here at Decor Lab School, we have created a balloon biz marathon. This is the crash course for beginners to help them to get started with their balloon business. If you wanna learn more about this course, click the link in the description below, and I will see you in the next video.